Good morning, happy Sabbath fo folks, and welcome to Sabbath morning on LLBN His Word. Praise God for the opportunity and the time for us to connect with our beloved friends out there. Yes. Well, let's dive in and see what we have lined up today. Let's do it, Daryl. So, this morning, here on uh, church service, 1145, we have Pastor Adrian Presley, great speaker and singer. Hmm. Um, Actually, he's fantastic. Yes, he is. And his uh, topic is God's grace in grief. Hmm. This is the annual LLUC memorial service. That's coming, coming around fast. Yes, it Seems is. like it was just a few months ago. And it's been a year. Yes. And, of course, Memorial Day coming up next weekend. And then, following that, at 2 p.m., we have uh, LLBN Worship with Pastor Jonathan Young. And uh, his topic is, As You Will. And uh, Pastor Young, you've probably seen him many times on LLBN Worship giving the children's stories. He's a great speaker in that area he can you may recall when he was much younger he was volunteering at LLBN this is with his yes. bad father Sam Young and his mm -hmm. brother and here he is he's a preacher now one of the pastors what a beauty and then this evening at uh, 6 30 Christian connections with uh, pastor Miguel Mendez his uh, topic is look and that is based on Isaiah 43, verse 19. Look it up, but then be sure and uh, tune in at 6.30 p.m. And if you're not able to, you can go to LLBN.tv and just watch it there. That's right. Online, anytime. And speaking of Christian connections, coming up Tuesday... We have our friend, Dr. Olivia Moses, who we all love, and we've enjoyed her both on this channel and on Smart Lifestyle TV with That's all right. of her health programs that she's done with An us. incredible health educator. Yes. An incredible, and believe me, you do not want to miss her presentations, because every time I've heard her, she outdoes herself somehow. Oh, yes. Very, very interesting. Every time. And, uh, of course, once again, you can uh, watch this on the web. But let's move on now to our sponsors for today. Yes, sir. We have the Levison family from New York. Thank you. The Herring family from Florida. The Saloniak family from British Columbia. And the Roach family from California. Thank you each and every one for being a part of LLBN, for helping to make this happen every day, day after day, 24 hours a day, and uh, reaching out to millions of people who really need what they hear on here. Amen. This is what keeps us going. Your giving and strengthens our commitment to the ministry because we know you have you backing up us, backing up the ministry of Jesus to go into the world. What a great partnership. What a great opportunity for all of us. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for helping us continue to share the good news of Jesus into the whole world. Yes. And you know, every dollar that you send makes a difference. And it doesn't go to you or me, Daryl. Nope. We're volunteers. And the rest of our brothers and sisters are volunteers in this ministry. We have only three full-time employees and the rest all done by volunteers. So your dollar, dollar for dollar, can go to this outreach. Yes. Well, now let's hear from one of our uh, friends out there, viewer comments. We have the Craigs from California. Enclosed is our monthly thank you gift. Please use it where it is needed most. May God richly bless in all your group mm. at LLBN. Well, thank you, Craigs. And uh, your encouragement to us means a lot. 
Indeed, indeed. We, we do in what you believe in. Mm. We're just your extended hands to go out and keep these ministries running 24-7, nonstop, in nine channels. In how many languages? We've well, lost track, haven't we? Uh, it's pretty close to 20. That's very significant. Language For a ministry ran mostly by volunteers. Yes. Professional volunteers, I should say. Yes. These. All our volunteers come from the industry with a lot of experience, but also with love for our Lord Jesus. That's right. And uh, let's move on to talk yes. about LLBN.TV. And, uh, you know, this is a little bit of mission work that you can engage in. LLBN.TV, put that in your emails, put that on your Facebook. You can share this with friends, with family. There is a wealth of blessing here right. on this uh, website. And of course, when you go there, the first thing that you'll see is this. You click right here on this play button and uh, whatever is airing on the channel that you're watching right now will show up, pop up here, and you can watch right there. Um, all of the other networks you see lined up up here, you can click on any of them and go watch whatever is airing on those. And of course, there are many other ways to uh, watch LLBN. That's correct. There are so many other platforms, the Apple TV, Xbox, uh, all streaming consumer mm -hmm. devices, Roku, uh, mobile devices, uh, everything man creates that can stream, you will find us on that platform by simply typing LLBN mm -hmm. in the search box and you'll get our channels. And that's how we are around the world reaching out millions upon millions. What a glory to God for mm -hmm. empowering us, volunteers, people who love the work of God here from Loma Linda, ordinary citizens. With your help, we are reaching the world. And you know, Daryl, uh, Jesus talked about the last days in Matthew and, and, and the gospel will be preached before the end. Yes. And this is an indication, the media, the Christian media work, the Adventist media work, it's not in vain. It is part of that commission that Jesus oh, yes. prophesied about. Mm -hmm. And it is happening right before our own eyes. And I believe the rest of the signs yet to occur will move very rapid because the major work reaching the world with the gospel of Jesus is happening and it has been happening for a long, long time. Yes, that's right. Speaking of that, Daryl, can we get into our part and, and, and talk about how we all face illnesses and struggles mm -hmm. in life. You've got your health issues. Yeah. I certainly have mine. My daughter has her own. We all have problems. Some are dealing with cancer. Some are dealing with kidney disease. Some with high blood pressure, diabetes. Uh, the list can just goes on. There is suffering out there, and that's not God's doing. No. God created us with perfection. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, the fallen world would sin got us into this mess we're in. But regardless, God had made life beautiful for us while we we're on this earth and gave us the promise that we can reach out to him and we can count on him. And yes, many times there are things we cannot explain. Not always every suffering story ends with success. Right. We will never know that answer until the Lord explained it to us in his kingdom. Yep. And maybe then would not even matter that much at that point. Right. But the bottom line is God is here and listening to us and he's working on all our needs nonstop. You don't file an application with him. You petition by prayer ah, yes. and request. Uh, you apply through application process with government agencies. It takes time and there may or may not be resolution. But with God, we only need to file once and he hear our prayers. And, and it sits there for a reason that it's working on many, many and multidimensional needs uh, to work all elements and all factors to bring it to perfection. God doesn't fix one thing. Mm -hmm. He fixes a bunch of things around it. He brings lots of blessings with it uh, for the family, for the witnesses of that particular miracle, the individual, the doctors, uh, the, the caregivers. God shows his grace in so many ways. Yes. Um, so 
we should be always glorifying God even at our worst times. Give him glory and keep your prayers with God directly with him in private for your needs because God is listening and God with us and glorify him more and more because God had heard you on the first time. Yes, he may hear you on the second time. Sometimes it feels like it's taken forever. And the second, sometimes for us, it feels like days and the days feel like months. Sometimes the months feel like centuries. But then God delivers. But then God delivers in his due time. Yeah, you know, I believe the song says, he does all things beautiful in his time. Amen. Well said, Daryl. Let's go to this next slide. The disciples followed Jesus, Daryl, as we know, in so many times. And every time they've got in a situation where needed something to happen, the disciples don't think they had the imagination. What is the resolution for that one crisis? When they saw the crippled, they didn't know what Jesus was going to do. When they saw uh, uh, the dead, didn't know what Jesus was going to do. Everything looks like the way we know it and the way we see it. Mm -hmm. We can't see beyond what our imagine. We can't see beyond what we where we are today. But God's ways are greater than anything else we do. When the disciples were on the boat, every second, like us, feels like minutes, and every minute feels like days. And they're in fear, and they were so assured that they're dying. They were so sure they were dying so much they went, wake them, walk them up. What's the matter with you, Jesus? Aren't you worried? We're all going to die. And what did Jesus do? He's like, I'm here. <laughs> as calm I'm as here. that. He was actually a little disappointed. Yeah. Like, don't you have faith? Yeah. And he got up and he just commanded the winds and the waters to calm. Mm -hmm. To calm. And that struggle... They have seen so many of his work, but every situation they couldn't understand what's the outcome. Oh, yeah. So I say this to all of us who are in struggle. We don't know what the outcome, but God has a plan for the outcome. When Lazarus died, before he died, Martha was standing for Jesus. And Jesus took his, felt like he took his time. Two days later, the two days felt like two weeks, two months, or maybe two years to Martha. They've lost him. They lost Lazarus. And when Jesus came, it was almost like, they said, too late, it's my too friend. too late. He's dead now. Too late, cousin. Um, wish you could have been sooner just to have the last words with him. Because we as humans, we can't see what God has, the creator of the universe, what he has in store. And what did, did Jesus do? He raised him from the dead. Mm -hmm. He commanded, he commanded Lazarus, come forward. That's the God we follow. So in our worst times and our worst fears, let's not fear. He's with us. He's with us, but let's be listening and seeing. He, he will calm our storm. waters. And, the, and we're like the disciples. We see things he's done in our lives, but in time of crisis, we're somewhat lost. Sometimes we feel at a dead end, and sometimes we feel alone. On the contrary, he is working on calming the, our waters. He's working on the doctors who needs to treat you. He's working on the, on the scientists who may be working on the development of the medication or the right mm -hmm. mixture, the pharmacist, the nurse, the, the family. He's working on everything, and he brings it all. He doesn't put a Band-Aid. He brings it all together to perfection. Mm -hmm. So have faith. Have faith. Don't worry. You're not alone. We all have our doubts. We all have our impatience. So did the disciples. But what God always delivered exceeded the expectations. That's right. Just as when the crowd was hungry, they doubted, what can be done? Yeah. How can we feed them? How can we feed them? And out of five loaves and two fishes, our beloved Jesus delivered, and he will deliver for all of us. That's right. Well, that's all for today. But uh, thank you for being with us. Stay tuned to LLBN His Word today and enjoy a whole afternoon and evening full of blessings. See you next time. His name.